Introducing first of all in the red corner, fighting out of Team Umbrella. With a record of one victory and one defeat, it's Jack Slater! So another MMA contest at 57 kilos. Um, Jack Slater versus Aaron Preston. Yeah, Jack Slater, 20 years old, one win, one loss. Another young boy, you know, 20 years old, just at the start of the careers. Uh, coming from Team Amoa. So 57 kilo, it's going to be a fast paced fight. This. Can't say these these, these flyweights can move, can't they? They're just rapid. Walking out to a bit of Brooklyn Malone. Another one on my playlist. You and me both. <laughs> bit of bugs here. Just getting his uh, final checks done by the Cape Sighted officials. And, uh, he'll be ready to go. Uh, final checks done. Jack Slater entering into the cage. Yeah, he's in great shape. He's in phenomenal shape, yeah. yeah. Looks ready to go. Another one wearing the tie style shorts. Just a full wash. Well, they're actually more like hybrid shorts, they those are ones, actually, aren't they? Yeah, they are hybrid They're becoming shorts. more and more popular, and I think the fighters just have a little bit more mobility with their legs in that style. Yeah, I must admit, I'm a, I'm a fan of the uh, the hybrid kickboxing style shorts. They're, they've just got a little bit more flow on them, and uh, yeah, you know. The right. MMA shot seems to be slowly disappearing, doesn't it? Remember the old style of the... Uh, yeah, the Zions big long board the, shorts. Yeah, yeah. the board shorts, the Zions and the tap out and yeah, uh, yeah. the bad boy and bits and bobs like that, you know? You see a lot more people wearing the compression style shorts yeah, now the as well. Yeah, the style. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're always good to train in for. All right, Aaron Preston. Getting looked over now by the inspectors. From the Shed MMA. Another one of the guys travelling from Ireland. Yes, sir. You know, you, you, all fighters mean business, but when these guys travel so, so, so distances for an amateur MMA bout, it shows the dedication and the discipline of what they want to achieve and when they want to go with it. I mean, it's pretty awesome fighting in another country as an amateur. It's amazing. It would be, you know, when, what an when, experience, I, when I was you know. a junior and when I was an amateur, there wasn't really that opportunity to, get, no, to do it. Um, you know, you'd travel up and down the country, which would still be amazing to do. Yeah. But now, you know, there's, there's guys flying in from different places and uh, being able to compete on such a great stage. All right, here they go, boys. Touch gloves, meet in the middle. Jack Slater, the southpaw, shoots in for a double. Alan's got that neck wrapped up though. Uh, Jack just needs to be careful that he doesn't sit in there too long. Yeah, his neck is trapped now. And yeah, this is on is, pretty that's tight. tight. That's well under the chin. Yeah, that. Aaron's it's a Aaron, deep guillotine. He's gone to Aaron, a body lock as well. Yeah, Aaron's got a body triangle. He's out, he's, he's out. out. Yeah, oh, just, mate, uh, that was so deep. So, so, so said, deep. He just needed to be careful and just. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, he just needed to be careful with that um, 
It was beautiful takedown and shot, but he just left his head exposed. And, he did, uh, mate, yeah. Aaron, Aaron saw the opportunity and jumped on the next straight away, and uh, it was almost like a... You don't even feel a mom sometimes. It's yeah. like one minute I'm okay, the next minute I'm like, yeah, why, just, why are people looking at me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he's uh, fortunately, like, the, the, the beauty of that is to... Uh, there's no sustained injuries. You know, exactly, he'll yeah. He'll have a couple of days feeling sorry for himself, and then he'll probably be back in the gym on Tuesday. Absolutely, he will be. He'll be fresh and ready to go, you know. Yeah. And, and then, again, he, then he can have a quick turnaround. You know, a, a fight opportunity pops up in four weeks. He's there, he's ready. He'll, he'll make just an and just go again. Um, well, a great win for Aaron Preston there, and a quick win. Quick win, um, and he'll be going back to Ireland with a smile on his face. And Absolutely.